there is a lot of discussion online about disaster. I don't stand with the mainstream view of randomly distributed upheavals on this planet throughout time. I also do not stand with these people who are calling out doom and gloom every single week, who get scared every time they hear some Russian scientist said something or that a CME might be coming our way. But make no mistake, there is something coming, and there is no technology that can stop it. Again, it is a middle-of-the-road event in terms of extinction. It's not doomsday. The 27-million-year extinction cycle? That's doomsday. The sun turning into a red giant? That's doomsday. The reality is a significant biosphere stress event accompanies a 12,000-year cycle. Humans survive them every time, and we simply should not ignore what's coming or we'll take a larger hit than we need to as a species. So here's the issue, and we'll start with the cold epochs of Earth. These are much shorter in time scale than the 100,000-year Ice Age cycle, and I've labeled some certain ones because while every coring has seemingly random jagged up and downs, there are some that are well documented to exist throughout the time scale and almost all of the locations surveyed. The Heinrich events are spread across time, and these dates should be familiar to veteran observers. 12,000 years ago, H1 indeed needs better citation as it's really closer to 18,000 years ago in the more recent literature. 24,000 years ago up next. H3 might be unfamiliar at the moment, but H4 is not in the late 30,000 years ago range. Neither is H5 in the 45,000 years ago range or H6 about 60,000 years ago. Let's take a look at this another way. We're going to plot the years ago in yellow and pink at the bottom, and we'll explain that momentarily. This chart only covers 8,000 to 50,000 years ago, so H6 is not on here. But the gray vertical bars are the recognized Heinrich events we just saw, and the variation over the multi-location data curve shows how much muddying there is in these waters. But I've labeled some things on here. Yellow are the magnetic excursions of Earth, about every 12,000 years, and pink are the half cycles, which match the 12,000 and 6,000 year eruption cycles of the sun, respectively. 12,000 years ago, it was the Younger Dryas cold event, immediately following the Gothenburg magnetic excursion. 18,000 years ago, it was the half-cycle Helenopoly minor excursion event and coinciding Heinrich event. 24,000 years ago was the Lake Mungo magnetic excursion, matching another Heinrich event. And the next half-cycle is not named, but it was clearly bad, likely due to volcanic activity. Now, about 36,000 years ago, there is no recognized Heinrich event, but there are papers suggesting it should be included, and you can probably see why especially in the black and above in the pink, and another we'll see in a minute. And yes, it's not all of the curves, but then again, look around. No Heinrich events show up in all of them, or even most of them. H4, somewhat awkward. It really only shows up in the black line, and it's not much worse than the previous down spikes, one of which would certainly hit the next half cycle before the Le Champ excursion, the most well-known magnetic excursion of all, around 45, 46, maybe as late as 48,000 years ago, leading directly into H5. So there absolutely is a less cluttered way to look at these major events during magnetic excursions and their half cycles, which again match the two scariest cycle levels of the sun. A, B, C, and D are now on there, and those are the magnetic excursions. The blue line on here is the other one I promised, and you'd see that matches the Mono Lake excursion event that we were angling for a moment ago. Now, when we add A1, B1, and so on for the half-cycle events, this is really starting to match up. And one can try to take this cycle back all the way to the Blake excursion and past, but it gets very difficult. It is helpful to look only back to the Toba event 72,000 years ago because the approximately 12,000-year excursion cycle has held up pretty well since then. We recently shared this chart on suspiciousobservers.org, and knowing that these magnetic excursions come with major cold events, if not officially recognized Heinrich events immediately thereafter, here are the major volcanic eruptions that match up with those time periods within the error ranges and the biosphere stresses on the right. All but the Vostok Greenland event have clear candidates, and they include megafaunal extinctions. The Toba event was the last time humans actually came close to not making it in one of these. But the Lake Mungo event, the only major human effect, was the abandonment of settlement regions in the West African region that had been definitively used for 40,000 years, back to 65,000 years ago, since the resettlement after Toba. Of course, not only is it a magnetic excursion, climate event, 
volcanic disasters, and biosphere stress. And it's not just that the cycle is due again now and we happen to see the magnetic field of Earth changing in the exact way expected, accelerating every few years, but it's also the isotopes in the bones and surge deposits and in the microtectites, and the stories of the black sun and the insistence of a solar instigation of the disaster. This is not doomsday, and while both Western and Eastern antiquity describe these events, I see far more evidence for the non-cataclysmic cycle of rebirth than the end of all. Humans are not going extinct, but this is more of a threat than most of the things people flex on and flash up. I say no fear, because fear is a thief of time and focus, and you'll need both to live your life and actively remain informed and prepared for the future. Same principle as insurance. Don't be a denier of this pattern or its imminent return, and don't think every little thing is the end. That'll get old pretty quick. I'll see you in the morning for the daily show and more special videos before the new year. Be safe, everyone.